What is up, my beautiful bros? Pretty me Nick here, November 12th, NBA game picks. And yes, one thing I want to say before we get in, there's currently an NBA 2K update. I'm trying to do that right now, but I need to get this up, so we're at this screen. Second, NBA 2K, for god fucking sakes, it is not that hard when you make a game to get proper uniform pictures for all the players. I mean, look at that. You still got fucking Bobby Portis in his Bulls jersey. You still got Marcus Morris in his Celtics jersey. The fuck is this? Like, honestly. You're putting out updates, but you can't fix this? It's ugly as hell. Anyway, we went 3-3 three three last night. We got eight games on tonight. We got OKC at Indiana. I'm going OKC in the upset. I like Chris Paul here, but more importantly, I am looking for a shy... Alexander to really fall out. And you got Cleveland Philadelphia, kind of a mismatch, but I do like the Tristan Thompson and Joel Embiid matchup. That is actually pretty interesting to me. I'm still going Philadelphia here. If Cleveland wants to be competitive, it's going to have to be guard play, force turnovers. The 76ers currently, I think, have 18.8 .8 turnovers per game right now. And you got Detroit Miami picking Miami at home. Knicks at Chicago. I'm picking the Knicks in what it would also be an upset tonight. Uh, the next one opening night against the Bulls. The Bulls are overall the better team, but I think what's going to carry the Bulls or the Knicks to the victory here is rebounding. I think they're going to out-rebound the Bulls. I think it's going to put them in better consistent position. No auto porter for the game for the Bulls tonight, so I do think that will hurt a little bit. And I'm looking for RJ Barrett to break out of his small slump. And you got Brooklyn at Utah. I'm picking Utah here again. One of the best defensive teams in the league. Won against Golden State last night. But Mike Connolly's starting to get into a rhythm. And I like that. I'm looking for him to lead the team to victory tonight. It's going to be interesting. Connolly versus Kyrie Irving. Defensively, also, he can lead the team to victory. I just want to state that real quick. Not just offensively. If he can limit Kyrie Irving's effectiveness, that's going to be a huge factor. And you got Atlanta at Denver. I'm picking Denver at home. See if Jokic can hit another game winner or if they'll just blow up the Hawks. I don't believe the Hawks will be too competitive in this one. I just think overall Denver's such a more talented team. And you got Lakers at Phoenix. Last time the Lakers faced Phoenix, I believe I picked Phoenix to win this one. I think the Lakers picked Phoenix, or I think the Lakers faced Phoenix before. I'm looking back at my paper. It's not very organized, by the way, so that is completely my fault. I should have this much more organized, to be honest. Huh. I don't know where it would be currently, but... Anyway, that's besides the point at this point. I am currently picking the Lakers to win this one. Whether they do or not is going to come down to clutch shooting at the end. Phoenix has Devin Booker, so they have someone they know will hit the shot. And yes, LeBron James is a huge part of this, but that's not all LeBron James can do. He's going to try to get other people involved like in Avery Bradley and such. Can they make the shots that LeBron James sets them up for? That's going to be huge. Tonight, I think they do, so I'm picking Lakers. And then you have Portland at Sacramento. No. Oh. No, um. What is his name? Oh, God, I feel so bad. Uh, the Kings had a recent injury. And I'm trying to think of his name on the fly, and I feel like an absolute idiot because I don't know his name off the top of my head. I'm drawing a blank. Even though I was all ready for this, I'm completely drawing a blank. Uh, De'Aaron Fox. De'Aaron Fox is out for three to four weeks. And I think that's going to be a little bit of a factor here. I'm picking Portland to win this one and get at get closer to 500, I should say. Anyway, guys, hope you have a good day. See you in the next one. Peace.